Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this review is about BMS College of Engineering, BMSE in Bangalore. And I'm going to talk about the seat matrix placement and all other details, right? So before that, BMS College of Engineering has uh, got a unique distinction that it is one of the, it is, it is the first private engineering college in India. And it started in 1946, so before even independence. And it is currently rated as the, top one of the top five engineering colleges in karnataka right and uh, as a course it's an autonomous college and it has aided seats and unaided seats both and i'll cover that and it is an autonomous institute approved by ict and it's affiliated with vishwasa technological university right and in terms of accreditation it is nac a plus plus with uh, 3.83 you know on the scale of 4 so that is got the highest standards and most of its courses are accredited with nba so that is another good news now talking about this course so i mentioned earlier that this course is also through aided college right so this is one of the aided college which is available for students at very low fees so fees for the aided seat is just 40,000 rupees per year, right? So this will be under 2 lakh rupees. You will get all the, including the college fees also. Fees will be so low. And the total number of aided seats are 300. So out of which 285 you see are from KEA and test 15 is through SNQ quota. So total all the seats are through uh, KCT admission process and no seat in the aided part through Comet K. And the second is the unaided part. Unaided part means the seat from the private uh, engineering college perspective, right? So in the unaided also, there is 2040 seats. So this is very high jump in the total number of seats. It is around 2000 seats, including KCT, Comet K and management quota. All three are through this. And if you see from the seat matrix, which was released yesterday, a very large number of seats are from the computer science background right which is artificial intelligence 60 seats aiml 300 seats right you can see here and 60 seats from computer science business system 60 for computer science engineering with blockchain and you can see the core csc the core csc the itself the seat is 900 seats which is very very high big jump in the total number of seats and you can also see computer science and engineering with the data science also 60 seats are there and then electronics and communication also 300 seats so the total number of seats you can see here are very very high and which is a big jump from this year and so there are like 1500 odd seats which are there in computer branch itself which is too high you know number and the core branches are very less which is like less than 500 seats so the one of the question people student think is that this is very good that number of computer seats are high but again this is very challenging situation because if the number of seats are very high it is difficult to get the job so you can see total seats of both aided and the unaided course in bmsc in the first year itself is 2340 so that's too high and students should basically work very hard to get the placement. It will be very competitive situation. Why I am saying this is if you see the placement figures for last four years, right? The batch size of last previous years were 1890. But this 1890 included your UG, PG and MCA. And when 1819 students were there in 2023, only 998 were placed including all of UG, PG and MCA. So all the UG, PG and MCA total number of placed students are not even 1000. So now the seats have increased for BTEC itself. BTEC only it has increased to 2300 right. So the placements for BTEC if you see here this is taken from the NIRF right. So NIRF data shows that the placement typically in each of the year in last three years was around 800 so 800 students got 803 got placed in 2021 median salary was 8 lakhs 
this is only BTEC placement. So in 2022, 864 were placed and the median was 8.24 lakhs. And now in 2023, the which batch I showed, 952 have got placed with the median salary 9 lakhs. So if not even 1000 students are getting placed till date in 2023, and if the number of seats are going to increase to, to say 2340 seats so the difficulty student will face is like increasing you know seats by 500 to 700 and all of them in computer science course only so the getting admission will be easier but getting the placements will be quite tough and the number of uh, you know positions in IT industry is anyway decreasing so placing a high number of students again will be a big challenge and we'll have to study quite well to get placed right so that's all a short update on the placements as well as the seat matrix which I could show thanks for watching please do subscribe challenge to get similar update take care and bye